it's essential. And it's been amazing. Unless you actually hear it from the patient themselves, you don't really appreciate it. And living with a long-term condition for 40 years, I felt that there was a benefit to me and a benefit to uh, the students. So we can understand what makes for a good healthcare experience and what makes poor healthcare experience. And we can pick that up from both good and poor experiences that patients and members of the public may want to share with us. Having patients and like service users come and talk to students, I always find that if someone comes in and talks about the condition that they have or the treatment that they've had, then it instantly sticks in my head. Seeing the illness or the condition within the context of someone's story, that kind of gives an extra layer of like, understanding. They want to care for people and they want to help people. And that clearly isn't just you know, fixing whatever illness they have, because sometimes you can't completely fix it. So it's kind of dealing with how that illness has affected them and their family. And one of the important things I think from, from a teaching point of view is that when we engage in these events, the lecture rooms are actually silent and the students are really listening to the patient. You could hear a pin drop. If you've got a person and a story, it's sometimes a lot better than like a, a textbook. Yeah, like it makes, it keeps it more patient-centered, doesn't it? I think it's keeping students that like we're currently training in the mindset that the patient is the patient that's important, not the illness. They go away with a really enhanced perspective that they can then take to their, to their client group as they, go, as they come mm. qualified. Mm. But I go away with a really positive feeling of, of empowerment and self-worth, mm -hmm. and that is brilliant. Mm -hmm. There's everybody always says to me, Stuart, why do you spend all this time doing it? Yeah. And I say, because it gives me as much back as I, as, as, as I ever give to anybody else. So I have a number of patients who come in and discuss their story, talk about their experience, and they tell the students exactly what it's like. It wasn't just come along and go into a classroom and, and do some teaching. There was um, far more support initially about what, how did I feel? Did I feel comfortable with talking to groups of people? Did I want to speak just to small groups? Or was I happy to speak to larger groups? We're very flexible and, for example, they may want to become involved in direct teaching, but they may not want to stand up in front of a class. And if that's the case, we can organise maybe the recording of their patient experience and turn that into a digital patient voice rather than a stand-up experience. So within the sessions that you run, what do you do? With psychiatry and film, it's from watching the film and see how they portray mental health in the film. So that's more of a chat, which is really nice. And then, you know, there are the more formal ones where you stand in front of like a lecture room and you've got a presentation. Yeah, at the end of sessions, it's really good to get positive feedback, both from the academic and from, and from uh, uh, the students. And I have to say, I've always received that. It's lovely when you get to the end of a session um, and you feel that value offered back to you. Um, or if there's been something which hasn't worked quite as well, you're able to talk it through and learn from it to take it forward for next time. A really supportive experience. So one of the patients we have talks about her journey through um, an unfortunate cancer diagnosis and she talks about her experience in CT, in the CT scanner and the MRI scanner and how things like making sure that we give the patients a dressing gown that fits or a gown that fits or allowing them to bring their slippers with them so they're not walking through a public corridor in bare feet. So it's those small things that patients pick up on that actually inform us how important our care should be and how we can model and nurture our care to suit the needs and expectations of the patient.